Hello. Well, I'm just taking delivery of these uh, two two new tyres. <clears throat> uh, these were a bargain. I think, what was the total price now? Well, they were £15 each, the tyres were, and it was I think it was £5 postage. So it's like £35 for the two tyres. May buy... Uh, how do you pronounce that? Chow? J-O Yang? Not sure. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they're pretty, they're pretty squashed because that's, they came flat. So, But they will reform once they were on the wheel. But it's a decent, uh, a decent road tread, that. I found my uh, knobbly tyres wearing down pretty quick. Which is not uncommon with knobbly tyres. <clears throat> it's just the nature of them. But, um, yeah, these have got uh, steel wire rims. So that's the way they came. If you get the original ones, you'll see they come flat packed. Because they haven't got a steel bead. So I'm not sure if these are going to go on. Well, they won't. They won't go on as easy as the other ones. But, hey, that's okay. The other ones basically dropped off the wheel when you let the air out. But I'm thinking, well, the footprint on the road is going to be more rubber, so less wear. Well, that's my theory anyway. But for the price, that's a bargain, isn't it? I had to have them. And these came from uh, Mate, the bike company. I don't know how long they're going to be on offer. Because uh, I know there's quite a few people buying them at the moment. Like I say, £35 for two tyres. I'll get them put on. And uh, well, we'll see how they ride, really. Should be a lot quieter on the road. Because they're quite noisy, the knobbly tyres are. And I think, you know, there's a reasonable reasonable amount of grip there for the bit of uh, dirt track riding I do. So, should be okay. We've got to uh, tread round on the sidewall there as well, so should prevent any slipping. Anyway, let's get these put on. See how it looks <clears throat> and how difficult it is. <laughs> Hopefully, it'd be okay. So, I'll catch you later. Just thought I'd show you just how easy these old tyres come off. They don't need any tyre levers. Look, it drops off. It really does just drop off. That's it, it's off. I've already took the other tube out, but. You know, there's no hassle changing their original tyres at all. Comparing both tyres, um, yeah, the new one, it just feels better, to be honest. I mean, between the, the nobbles on these, the rubber is, you know, it's not very thick. It's only about, I don't know, it's not even a millimetre thick. Definitely feels more... Uh, more rubber on this one hopefully I mean I'm still a bit out of shape yet it's not uh, round but pretty much the same size tyre um, hopefully that'll help with the uh, punctures as well well here's the new tyre going on um, I was expecting to use tyre levers but it looks like it will actually Push on. Yeah, easy. It's gone on easy. It's on. Just needs a bit of wind in it now. Yeah, that was easy enough. Well, that's the front one on. That wasn't too bad a job. All running freely and not catching anywhere. And to be honest, now it's blowing up. 
Looks okay. You think? Yeah. I mean, where's the old one? Here. Here's the old tyre, side by side. Very little difference, to be honest. Width-wise, it's blown up because it's a 4-inch tyre anyway, so it should be the same, shouldn't it? Yeah, it's looking good, this is. Okay, on to the back wheel. Yeah, I just want to show you that they are very similar in size. Very little difference, if anything. Probably just that this has got nobbles on it. And if you look down from above, you'll see that the the width is pretty good too. So yeah, let's get this back one up. Well, there we are, all done. Pretty simple job, that. Very pleased with how it went. Uh, and they're looking good. Yeah, they all look in proportion, don't they? I mean, I've seen some uh, smoother tyres put on. They seem, I don't know, they just seem a little bit small looking. But these, yeah, they look, they look, they look okay. Still got the width and the chunkiness. And I do like these uh, diamond tread on the side. Because I think if we're getting any sort of uh, soft surface, this is going to help. I'm sure it is. So it's going to be quieter on the road because we haven't got them knobbly tyres rattling away. And uh, hopefully it'll still do uh, my trails okay. But time will tell. We'll see. Next thing is to get it out on the road, I suppose. Although, got a lot of wet weather here at the moment, so I don't know when it's going to be. Anyway, I'll get back to you uh, when I'm out and about. Bye for now.